cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's Hi, good morning, cooking. everybody. I'm going to share with you one of my all-time favorite recipes. It's just near and dear to my heart, and it's one of the recipes in my latest cookbook. First of all, if you know me, you know I love, love, love my slow cooker, because if you can get up five minutes earlier, throw dinner in the slow cooker, go out the door and do your thing, and then you come home after a long day and dinner's done, I mean, it's... There's nothing better, and you look like a rock star. This is one that's really nice, too, for a special occasion or if you're entertaining. I actually was going through my grandmother's uh, cookbooks when she passed away a couple years ago, and uh, I saw a notation uh, near this recipe of hers that said, this one's always a winner. I love making this at my dinner parties, and I've been making it ever since. It's called Just Leave It Beef and Wine, and basically, that's all you do. You throw it together, leave it, and do your thing, and it's just everyone goes crazy over it. So the first thing you do is you either pick up a couple of chuck roasts or um, go to festival and order some nice two inch cut um, uh, stew meat. You want bigger pieces of meat. Um, and I've got about four pounds of it. Uh, this is, you know, one of those dishes that the leftovers are great. They even freeze well. And I like to use the bigger pieces of meat. And you want a meat that's just gonna fall apart and get really nice and tender. A spoon roast would also work. You could chunk up a, one of those spoon roasts yourself, too. So, all right, so my meat goes into my slow cooker. I'm using one of those slow cooker liners. Love those because that means less dishes for me. And I'm all about less dishes. Okay, now we just start dumping the different ingredients in. One can of cream of chicken soup. One can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of cream of celery soup. And this is gonna make the most delicious beefy gravy. This beef is gonna simmer in all day and get just tender as all get out. So just the three cans of soup, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and cream of celery. Next goes in a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and you don't need to measure, just kind of eyeball it. It's gonna give it some great beefy flavor. One envelope of dry onion soup mix. That's why you don't need to season the meat at all because this has got all the great onion and uh, salty flavor in there. And then one cup of dry red wine. Doesn't have to be expensive stuff. This happens to be just one of those mini bottles of Cabernet, a Merlot, Pinot Noir, something like that. The top goes on. You go out the door. This is gonna take a good eight to 10 hours in your slow cooker. You can also bake this in the oven. Um, and back in the day, my grandmother didn't have a slow cooker. So a lot of times I'll do this recipe in a nice big casserole dish. You want to cover it and bake it in your oven at about 300 for about four hours. So you can, either way, you can do this in the slow cooker or in your oven. It all turns out great. Love to serve this over um, buttered egg noodles, mashed potatoes, or in this case, we just steamed up some rice. And you see that gravy? It's brown and wonderful and delicious. You could also throw some mushrooms in there at the end if you wanted to. Every time I make this, people go crazy over it and uh, nobody needs to know how easy it is. A little parsley on the top, serve it with a salad and bread, and it really makes a lovely, elegant dinner. And it's just that easy. Recipes uh, in my latest cookbook online. You can also pick it up in the area of Festival Foods.